While browsing the internet, I found this meme. And I thought to myself, could you actually write fire? This is a terrible idea and should not be attempted by anyone ever. But before we get into writing with fire, we have to go back a bit. Maybe a lot. All the way back to the Stone Age, to be specific. Because before humanity could master fire, they needed to master something else first. Fuel. In order to create a radiant flame from our pen, we need to find out what our ink is going to be made out of. See, our ink has to be thick enough to write with, as well as thin enough to dispense, and the flame has to burn a visible color, and on top of all of that, it has to be safe to use. I actually had to test a whole bunch of different chemicals to see which one actually worked best in the pen. Here's the speed run of what happened. I first tried isopropyl alcohol. This produced a brilliantly bright flame, but the liquid just went everywhere, so I couldn't really write with it. I then found my best bet was probably ethanol gel used for heating chafing dishes. This stuff is thick, but not too thick, which was perfect. But then, when I lit it on fire, well, this happened. As demoed, the flame wasn't very visible. Then I read online that sodium chloride, i.e. table salt, burns a bright yellow. Easy peasy, just add the salt to the gel and I have the perfect compound. Or so I thought. The salt degelified the chafing jelly and I was left with salt clumps and liquid ethanol. It burned nice though. So there was only one solution, make my own jelly. This took some chemistry. Let me set the speed run dial to 11. First you take some eggshells, crush them down, add some cleaning vinegar to them, let the mixture sit for a day, filter it down until you get a liquid solution, boil down that solution until you get a paste, let that paste dry out completely, crush the dried paste into a powder. Congrats, you have just made a mysterious white powder. Mix a high purity alcohol with mysterious white powder. You now have made fire jelly. No, do not spread on toast. It works. Wow, wasn't that easy. No. With the fuel down, I just had to find a method of dispensing it, as well as making sure that it was safe to do so. You see, a pen that writes fire is fine and all, as long as the flame can't traverse back into the container itself and cause, well, uh, unwanted dismantling of the device. I do know, however, that fire needs three things to operate. Heat, oxygen, and fuel. If I can deprive the fire of oxygen entirely, I can prevent the fire from reaching the stockpile of fuel. That means I just need a dispensing device that can write on any surface I choose to, as well as airtight. I've decided to use a syringe, as you can load the fuel in from the top, put the plunger back in, and then you can get rid of any excess air by flicking and pushing on the plunger. Let's see if we can write fire with this fire gel I picked up out of the syringe. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> uh, syringes. Why? There. That took me a while. Well, it works. Kind of. The suspensing mechanism isn't great. So let's build something to make that even better. And voila. There it is. Let's explain some of the different components on this thing. The device is very simple. When you press this button, this motor spins, which is attached to this gear, which contacts this linear rail gear, which then pushes the plunger down. And has a taser igniter system to set everything alight. Wait, where's the taser? Oh, that's where it is. So I guess we'll just manually light things on fire for now. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. My name is Captain Steele and I have years of experience in product design as well as creative engineering. I've been on Dragon's Den with a product that I designed and I've even won a Guinness World Record. And in general, I just make really cool stuff. Please consider subscribing if any of this interests you because I can only do this with your help. I want to build even bigger and better things in the future and I hope to see you there. 
Let's start off by writing Captain Steel on, get this, a piece of steel. What about writing on wood? The alcohol actually bled into the wood, connecting the letters, so I only had to light each line of text once. Once I removed the spent jelly, it left a really cool flame impression in the wood. What about making some drawings? Oh, that's interesting. I'm drawing a thumbs up. What could it mean? Arsonists now have a new way of leaving evidence behind. They can sign their names in fire. Truly a revolutionary product. And now for something everybody's been wondering, can I draw on a curved surface and save time making Christmas gifts this year? No better way to celebrate the holidays. Should probably put that out. I thought it'd be super fitting to use my flammable snow to write on snow. Unfortunately, I needed to stack a few layers to actually get it to light. But it did some cool things. What about setting a pile of jelly on fire and then writing from that? Not my greatest idea. Fire is hot. Uh, I was gonna write something. You have to make sure to connect everything. Oh no, it doesn't connect. There it goes. The takeaway is fire is hot. It's cool to see the fire spread down the trail as you're writing it. Wouldn't recommend it though. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Oh, that's so cool. If you ever have to question your teachers again for why you had to learn cursive, this was why. <laughs>